What is up, bubblers? In this video, I'm going to talk about three predictions I have for the no code space and specifically the bubble space in 2023. Let's jump into it. Number one, I think full time is going to increase dramatically. Um, over 2021, there were a bunch of full time positions I've seen in Slack groups on LinkedIn, but I think that's going to explode in 2023 and 2022 too, there was a lot, but 2023 is really gonna be the year where no code becomes from a little tool, a toy, maybe something people can freelance on to like a full-time career, um, which I think will be really exciting and also give a lot of opportunities um, for the people grinding it out in 2022, 2021, like me, um, to actually work full-time in the space. I have a full-time job in as a bubble developer, so I know this, and I'm just seeing the growth. I see that like companies want to cut costs. They want all the benefits that no code has, and I think what we're seeing is that it actually does scale with businesses. So if you're a noob to no code, just like keep grinding, um, and there is an option to be a full-time nine-to-five bubble developer. Number two, and I'm not biased here, but I think Bubble is going to just leapfrog all the other um, no-code tools, especially the smaller ones um, that don't really have a large community that have been around for a few years, maybe raised too much venture capital. Um, I think those ones are going to get acquired or just shut down um, by other no-code tools, and there will be a few winners in the space. So if you're working on some like small no-code tool, I think those will actually die out. Um, in 2023. And if you're thinking of starting a no code tool, please don't, um, unless it's like an add on tool or a plugin or something like that. I just don't think there is room for new competitors in the space in 2023 in the current format of no code. Number three, I think jobs will become more specialized in the no code space. I'm a full time back end bubble developer. And I think what companies are realizing is that you may be able to build a full product on your own as a no-code developer, but you're only going to be really good at a certain aspect of it. So I think there's four areas that actually matter um, in no-code, and companies are going to start hiring for that. Agencies will also start doing that. I think there's no-code PMs, there's no-code designers, and then no code backend developers and no code integration developers. I think every no coder should know at least, you know, all of these somewhat, you know, have a good grasp, but they should only pick expertise in one of those areas. Um, and I think that's going to grow in 2023. Um, I think companies and agencies will start hiring for those. And so if you are really good in one area, but you've just been building full products, I think focusing on one role will actually be re really beneficial in 2023. And that will only become more and more specialized as the years come. Um, lastly, I think no code creators will blow up in 2023 um, with the tech layoffs, with all the things happening in the world right now. I think it's just the moment for no code to shine. Um, and so I think creators like me and other ones will start to grow, hopefully me. <laughs> um, so follow me and let me know if you want any other videos. Um, I hope to provide value in 2023 and I am certain it's going to be a great year.